Hello, this is Carter 1989 for the Blazecast for August 2012. And with me this month, I have Halo Hunter. Look out behind you! <laughs> and Naretsu. Hey everyone, what's up? <laughs> yeah, uh, ZZ and Preston are not here because I believe they're uh, getting ready to go to another convention. Another convention? They're just rubbing it in our noses at this point. It's just silly. <laughs> I mean, it's got to be like the I live in convention central. It's got to be like the fifteenth convention they've been to this year. Yeah. Why? Why, why, you they to? why are they doing reports on all these conventions and like putting them on belays or something? Like what? I keep trying to get stuff like that, but anyway. Well, for that point, I mean, there's bound to be like fifty other people doing the recording. <laughs> uh, there's bound to be little yeah. bit they could say or see anyway. It's just. It's just their way. Hmm. Or maybe they're internet stars and we don't even know it. Maybe they're doing <laughs> our podcast just for a joke. Oh my god, this has blown my mind. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Oh well. Anyway. Well, uh, speaking of Zizi and Preston, even though they're not here, they were in charge of our site updates over the last month for their two year yeah. anniversary. Um, uh, yeah. Kudos so, to them. They released a commentary on Negima, episode 19. They did a first impression of um, Mysterious Girlfriend X. Just like everyone else did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They did a movie commentary on Evangelion 2.22. I need to watch that. <laughs> yeah. And then they finished it off. Twos? And then they finished it off with a commentary of a visual novel, Kawata Shoujo. Which I reckon they need to do more of. <laughs> Which they are in fact going to be doing more of. Well, yeah, like, it makes uh, them more unique than me. Yeah, they are. They have ZZ and Preston have been talking to me about doing a series of visual novel let's plays. So. Oh, I, I thought you were talking about reviewing mangas and whatnot with pictures and all that. But okay. Yeah, so they're going to be yeah, doing. That sounds good. Yeah, so they're going to be doing those. Um, don't know when they're going to be starting, but. I do know that their first one should be Little Busters. So, yeah. yeah. Um, well, the more work they do, the less work I have to do. Ah, you never do any work. Nobody got that. Exactly. I mean, that's how only writes it works. He's got underlings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just get people on the snap to do my work for me. <laughs> well, um, anyway, we it's also... The true way of the internet. We also, this month, have two brand new people joining the site. Oh, not another two. The this first... Me donkey donk. Now there will be four groups at war with each other. Uh, the first is uh, Otaku Nate, who is doing proper uh, anime cut it, reviews. Cut it, cut it, cut it. If you keep bringing in new people, some of them are going to be more talented than us, and they're going to take over our website. Be careful. Shut up. Can't let that happen. <laughs> I, I'm scared. So like I said, the first one is Attack on 8. Um, he does reviews on some really, actually, really well-made reviews on really obscure old animes. So if you're looking for something a bit different, you could check him, check his videos out. He, he's crap. Um, listen to him. No, he's shit. good. Don't worry. Yeah, and he's actually officially part of Team Snap. So... Yes, <laughs> we get the we we get one of the best ones. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So, and also we have. But then again, it's only because I can't release. <laughs> we also have um a first our first member of the written team. Um, <laughs> yeah, Juneberry. Like yeah, Juneberry, who contacted me over DeviantArt, is going to be. Uh, doing a whole bunch of written reviews for us and just doing like one each month. Oh, that's what you mean. I thought you meant he like he's a writer for like a show or something. I was like, June Berry's a woman. That mean? <laughs> he's got the right of script. June Berry's a girl. <laughs> he's so good at this. <laughs> how do you get a? How does June Berry sound like a guy's name? I thought that was an alias. Silence. I didn't even know that's a real name. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> that's a real name. Oh, it's not real. It is an alias, but she's female. Okay. For fuck's sake. 
Sounds fine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, other, other news, I guess. So, so, did you say four new people? No, two. Oh, two. No, he confused me with four. Damn you, no, Etsy. Hey, I actually remembered people's names for once. That's, that's yeah. rare. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Yes, like anyway. Today, it's a shame Peek is not here, because that's a name I, I can remember. That's a recognisable name. You have a shitty name, you Etsy. <laughs> Just change it. <laughs> You're henceforth, you'll be known as Bob the Second. <laughs> oh boy. No. So, let's move on quickly to general news. Yep. Deflect my bad jokes. Yep. First thing. The Sega Saturn classic game, Nights into Dreams, has oh, right. finally been announced for an Xbox Live Arcade PSN and PC HD remake. That's that weird... Well, I can tell you right now, a lot of people are going to be happy about that. Yep. Um, yeah. And they have actually revealed that you will be able to switch it to the original Saturn graphics. Oh, oh that's nice. They're going to they're gonna go all Halo on that shit. <laughs> But one, one thing that I don't think has still been confirmed yet, and a lot of people are hoping that Sega do eventually add it, even as DLC or whatever, is yeah. uh, Christmas Nights. So is, yeah. there, is there DLC for the PS3? Yeah. Oh. I, I, I've never played one. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I mean, what? I know there's online gaming with like MMO games like superheroes and shit but uh, yeah, other than that I didn't know there was DLC yeah but yeah because a lot, a lot <sighs> I mean, of people the Wii's of... are uh, online to an extent and that doesn't have DLC does it? not I really the Nintendo Wii doesn't really do DLC because it, really, it actually really can't do it because of the yeah. and, because of the online game it's not really designed for it no uh, uh, but yeah um, Knights HD keeping the Knights fans happy Hoping X Mix Mode does oh. does make an appearance because that one was a bit special because you could actually unlock Sonic as a playable character. So, so where's oh, that's play? awesome. oh, actually, so Sega's that making a game of... that is not Sonic. What the hell? Anyway, speaking of Sonic, actually, wasn't there another bit of news that they were working on Hello. Sonic Adventure Two on Xbox as well? Yep. From what I remember. Hmm? I'm still here. Yeah. What? Is he sorry, gonna sorry, things things keep pausing on my end. No, 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 I think he's just pausing mid speed. That, that was really weird. It's like everything froze for about no, four five seconds. Just ignore it. Ignore that. Was, uh, we will cut it out as I Sonic Adventure 2, I think I read somewhere, was. <laughs> they were looking at doing an Xbox release of that as well, from what I remember. Which yeah. Me hopes for yeah, a yeah, yeah, they announced that. Well, I think we already talked about it last month. I can't remember if. We do not Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I, could, I, I mean, I could definitely remember mentioning it. Yeah, I, I just figured I'd bring it up because it's a related note. <clears throat> yeah. Um. Well, that's it. That's the end of the podcast. Okay. Shut up. <laughs> Um, actually, I've, right, sorry for everybody in the podcast, I'm just going to stop the recording for a second, because this is getting ridiculous. I've got to restart Skype, because this pausing thing is really starting to bug me. I just, think, I just think of a really lame joke to have. I've already started recording. Fuck. <laughs> now he's doing what he wanted him to do. <laughs> Anyway, right. yes, anyway. everyone, if you if we haven't heard from our conversation just then, Skype was giving us some technical issues, yeah. like it does, because it's owned by Microsoft. Fuck <laughs> you, Microsoft. Anyway, as yeah. you continue with the news, okay. there's no so, alternative to Microsoft. So, anyway, um, the Tales of fans got a bit of really good news, as Tales of Excelia was confirmed for a Western release. Um, this obviously just... Just hot on the heels of uh, Tales of Graces F. Yeah. Um, Tales of Zelda, which looks absolutely fucking gorgeous. I am not kidding. Right. 
Shut up. He's <laughs> just going. Oh, Lord. So, but if you if you really do enjoy JRPGs, I would highly recommend checking this out. Um, especially because of the very weird customization features that it has. If they have an English dub anyway, I could play. Yeah, that. it's, yes. that's what they've. That's Just what like they're working on. features, you mean adjustment of breast size? <laughs> I no, I mean... I think I'd enjoy no. JRPGs even if they were in full English. I mean, that that freaking one you, you told me to get last time, the um, the one with the English actors being so bad, that one I did not enjoy. What? The, the one know. with the, the, the English um, character, where the characters sounded really, really bad English actors. Well, that could be any goddamn jail. No, yeah. Oh, whatever. <laughs> forget it, forget it. The, the only one I brought with recommendation to do with you is the JRPG, and I didn't like it. I couldn't get into it, and not all the characters actually voice acted, so screw you. Hmm. Anyway. Yeah, is, that, yeah. is that all the news? I, no, I say. shut up. There's plenty of news. Yeah. Ow. Yeah, will you stop being so bitchy? <laughs> I have something. You're never this bitchy when Zizi and Preston are yet. Yeah, but they're bitchier than me. <laughs> Whatever. You don't have to fill in well, the room. Speaking, of, it. speaking of bitches, it. Sailor Moon is getting a new anime. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sailor Moon meets the Power Rangers? <laughs> <laughs> now, that I would actually want to see. Yeah, yeah that I would pay for. <laughs> yeah, the. the Cult classic Sailor Moon is getting a new anime next year. I couldn't really fucking care because <laughs> as as while Sailor Moon, yes, it's important to anime and everything, the yeah, original I anime is shit. I never watched yeah. it. I didn't have a chance. I watched like six episodes of that and it was it was so poor. It yeah. Was so poor. It was actually kind of I'm waiting for it to be funny bad, but it didn't even get to that. Yeah. The, the only movie, thing... When was it released? 1990... I think it was 92, oh, something like that. Six. It was like, 1996. The animation's really, really, yeah. really lame. The voice acting's really lame. The story's really lame. The only thing true. I actually liked about Sailor Moon was the fact that the opening for the English dub was oh, yeah, the, the translated the version of the Japanese film. version. Mm, yeah. I thought the that was really cool. The only decent thing about Sailor Moon. Yeah. I kind of like that, but... Um, <laughs> um, even though it was just released in America, um, Persona 4 Arena on the PS3 is going to be the very first region locked game on the console. That's um, what I mean. Uh, this region locked is that a, that's a bad thing, isn't it? Yeah, it basically means that you couldn't play it on other in other countries. So they're intentionally. That's a step backwards. Actually, yeah. that's a step backwards. I said it's regionally blocking. Yeah, this, but this, what what makes me laugh so much is the bullshit reasoning behind why they region locked it. Terrorists. No, no. <laughs> Terrorists. It was actually due to the close release of the Japanese and U.S. versions. The what? The closed release of the. The US close version. release dates. What the hell kind of reason? That doesn't make sense. I know. It, yeah, like why, I said, it's a like, step why, yeah, was why it? the hell would you import the Japanese version when the American one was going to be released in like two weeks' time? Oh, because the sky's blue, Carto. That's the reason. <laughs> makes as much sense. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's like... You're seriously worried people would be so impatient that they wouldn't be able to wait like saying, two you know, more we're doing it weeks. Out of spite, basically. Right. No, it's just the fact that importing it from Japan would cost them more. Yeah, yeah it would. It would cost you, you more to import it from Japan, and you'd get less because you wouldn't be able to understand what the hell anybody's saying. I so, can't hear what, what you're saying right now. But. So these people, would, you're worried that people would rather import the game, not be able to understand it and pay more, than wait about two weeks to be able to understand it and to pay less. The yeah, fuck it's, sense, it's, Atlas. It's all about saving exactly one buck. Yeah. Save one buck, they do it. 
Yeah, it's, it's, although they're hurting themselves yeah. business-wise anyway by doing yeah. such a bad decision. I can understand them. They're going to suffer PR yeah. and they're going to suffer in sales. Yeah. It's I could No, I could understand the reasoning if it was because of the release dates between the American and European versions because we don't actually get it until the end of the month. No, that, that's a terrible excuse. I mean, if the... If it's in English, it should go to all English-speaking countries. Just yes, I know please. that, but... The world doesn't work like that. I know, and it really sure. should. But, I know, we've, yeah, we've gone over this a, tons of times. But, yeah. yeah, go on. In terms of region locking, the reason they give makes no fucking sense, and it's completely yeah. pathetic. Um, but it's just like, why the hell? Anyway. But... Speaking of, keeping with this sort of same theme, it was also announced that <laughs> the Blu-ray release of the Persona 4 anime Ooh. in America... I, I, I uh, want to see. Oh, this... I this, heard, I heard about this. Yes, I love this story because it makes me laugh so much. If you purchase the Persona 4 anime in America on Blu-ray, you will not get the Japanese voice track. <laughs> you will right. only get the dub. This is so funny. Yeah. <laughs> Would you so, want the Japanese voice? A lot of people, a lot of people only will only ever buy stuff if, if it, they can switch it to the Japanese track. They're stupid like that, but yeah, that it's, is. I think it, I think it's probably it's just their choice, really. Yeah, I mean it's yeah. their preference, but for fuck's sake. Yeah. So if you buy the Blu-ray, you won't have the Japanese voice track. <laughs> if you buy the DVD version, you will. That makes no sense. Uh, to be honest with you, I would have thought it would have been the other way around. No, no, no. It's, a, it's actually because it's it's because um, Blu-ray regions are different from DVD regions. Oh, and, I see. So and still... America and Japan share the same Blu-ray region. Oh. Ah, right. it, and because... It, 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 how does that... So wait, does that like, literally stop them? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait a minute. So does that literally stop them? from putting a Japanese track on a Blu-ray disc. Yeah. Like, what? Like, they, seriously? The reason, they, the, the, reason, like, look, the reason they had to do this was because in Japan, Blu-rays are much more expensive and usually you only get, like, two episodes on the disc. <sighs> you say and there's no, more room well, on a Blu-ray and that's two episodes. No. Look, look, in Japan, this you is how... It, look, Chris, listen. Video, listen. Yeah. In Japan... This is how they do it. Because they want to make more money to fund, you know, other animes. They have to... Do you think the Japanese are yeah, they have. They only generally put, like, two or three episodes on a Blu-ray disc, and they're much more expensive. Ugh. So, in order to make certain that people in Japan don't just end up importing the much cheaper release uh, in that, America... That that's, that's a no-no, they Japan. Were, I mean, I yeah, understand the American, like, like, the big part of their economy, but... Two ever, you know you could do more than that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how it works, but that's just I, how it is. I'm surprised they're VCR, not actually Like you said, you could VCR record that. You could VCR record that just from your house and just yeah. get the TV. It just slice out the adverts. And then you'd get even more. But yeah, that, 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 that's basically how, how it works. That's the reason behind it. Um, yeah. Because... Um, that makes uh, more sense now, because I can see why they would do it. Yeah, the, it's just the fact that the people in Japan, the, you know, the actual people who made it, they don't want people importing it from America because it would be a then lot cheaper again, for them. They could still just import the DVD from America and use an unregion blocked computer. <laughs> they could, but it's a lot harder that way. Well, not really. You just download VLC. I know, I know, I know, but it's just because <laughs> that yeah. auto unregion blocks everything. So you know. I know, but that's just the way. That's just the way they're thinking about it. But the ultimate thing which I laugh about is because Kaze UK, who are releasing Persona Four here. I've not been told to re remove the Japanese voice track. <laughs> so so our Blu-ray release will include the Japanese version. <laughs> as important as that would be. And then they'll just import that one. <laughs> yeah, so people in America will most likely import our version. <laughs> <laughs> Get ching. And then just play it on their PlayStation 3 where it's under region block anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Oh god! I just, I just. At the, had to at the end of the day, it. your attempt to make more money means nothing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what else? Um, yeah. Um, again, keeping with there's been a lot of Persona Four news recently. Um, 
I can't... Isn't there always? No, Every I swear, it's just... I swear, it's just recently. I swear, it's just recently there's been a huge burst with this. It's because there's so many new games and stuff coming out. It's like, is, is this new Star Wars or something? It's ridiculous. I think we just found, I think we just fought, found the title of the um, podcast. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I shut don't know is this Star but, Wars or something? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, basically, they pretty much um, unveiled like a whole list of everything that's different between the original version of Persona 4 and the Vita remake. Uh, the really the most um, interesting of these things was because um, we remember I can remember talking about um, getting confused as to because they said that the original voice cast from the first from the first Persona Four game were going to be in like the Vita remake and Arena and all that, but then they announced that certain voice actors. We're going to be changed, and it Thank got you. really confusing as to how this was going to work. Mm. Um, and they basically said that the only two characters that have actually got brand new voice actors are Chies and Teddies. Yep, replaced by the voice actor who did Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> who was the voice actor for Jar Jar Binks? Who knows? Who cares? He, he's prob he probably got mooted by a Star Wars fan. Or what, like, <laughs> yeah. Long, long but, um, yeah, basically, what this basically comes down to is they they now voice... they got new voice actors for Chia and Teddy in Persona 4 Arena. Uh, then they basically said, right, you are now going to voice the same characters in the anime version and we're going to completely re-record those characters' lines of dialogue for the Vita remake. Yeah, but you know what's odd also about the Persona, at least for me anyway, is the fact that every time I occasionally go to a game store, which is maybe once or twice a month, I never see Persona like advertised. I might want to actually check it out. I've never seen it. Because it's so hard to get now, because most of them were released on the PSP and the PS2. The mm. I've and plus, well, actually, plus it's the fact that most people are not crazy enough to get rid of them because they're some of the best games on those consoles. Yeah. A, a PSP and a PS2, you say? Yeah. Oh, I have, a, I have a PS... Well, my brother just recently got a PS2. I yeah, you can, you can honestly find um, the games... You can find the games really easily online, but... Yeah, Getting I, I never shop online. You can find anything really easily online. Really easily online I know, but... Oh my god, I, I had to laugh because... Um, Persona 3 FES is about a tenner online here, whereas the original Persona 3 is about 30 quid. Yeah, isn't that all there's... It's, it's like uh, it's like even Halo right now. It's like... It, it, it depends how good the game is. It's not like the newest yeah. game. And I think that's the way it should work. Yeah, well, I could be an original should be like here good games for under $10 dollars if I wanted to. Hmm. That was very rude. <laughs> very rude yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> pretty much yeah, anyway oh. do we have any news that's not persona news please? oh yeah we're, mov <laughs> we're moving away from persona now finally thank god <laughs> um oh, that was the right, persona I, portion of in the, the in the last season review i talked at great lengths about fate zero yes you did and now they've finally they've kind of even though it was kind of talked about they finally really unveiled the next fate anime <laughs> oh dear god it's called fate khalid liner prism layla something like that and it's basically a magical girl spoof series <laughs> what does spoof mean it means it's taking the shit out of the main series oh right right you're going to have fun I with never it, got... you, I know, I'm, I'm so going to be watching that just for having a laugh. I, mean, uh... I, I loved um, Cannibal Phantasm. Because that was, that was kind of a spoof series. But it was much more loose in, its, in what it was taking, making fun of. Um, I think mostly any anime is kind of a spoof of the genre. Yeah, but this, this one's anyway. actually... Yeah, but these ones actually make fun of other yeah. series by the same creators. Oh, that's nice. But I think, well, I believe Fate, uh, this new one, Fate Khalid, is actually 
was actually made by a fan. And it basically then became really, really popular. So they said, okay, we're going to turn it into an anime. Why can't they do that more often? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the same thing with like Haruhi-chan and stuff like that. Because that was, that was basically a fan that, series based anyway. off the original. Do, do you think point. there's been like a golden age of anime already reached? And do you think it's like... Oh yeah, that, that was... That was, already. that was like the but, late 90s, early noughties. Yeah. That was the golden era for anime. The golden yeah. era was when like they released like um, uh, Azamanga, Lucky Star and all that shit. Yeah. And, uh, and now it's like, oh, well, we've got okay animes. Yeah. So let's just not even try to make anything that good again. Well, there, there's been a bit of life. Yeah, there's, a lot of, there's well, still I mean, a lot of... Mysterious Girlfriend X was pretty good. Yeah, there's yeah. still a lot of really good anime. It's just, it's, I mean, really, it's just filled in with loads of shit. The really impressed me was um, Back at Test. I mean, I know I don't watch a lot of them, but that was the only one that actually attempted to be that good. That Trust me, you're going to be disappointed with season two, then. Yeah, I, I'm sure I will. I'm sure I will. Yeah, uh, yes. yeah so moving on... Um, Fantasy Star Online 2 is coming to the West as a free-to-play PC MMO. Woohoo! So, yeah. I'll be buying it. It's mm, kind yeah. of... A, I'll be buying I'll be buying I'm kind it. of upset how easily people make MMOs now, actually. It's like, it's no longer, like, a genre. It's just, like, a game. And it's an MMO. Well, then again, well, well the, new, the new thing now is free-to-play. Yeah. Everyone's going free-to-play. Oh, I mean, I mean, Republic's going free-to-play. I think there should be a new classification I mean, for an MMO, like a small MMO or uh, a series MMO. Well, isn't, like isn't, there, isn't there sort of like a, a, a divider, right? There's, there's social MMOs and, you know, uh, like hardcore MMOs. MMOs and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, everyone I'm just saying, they seem to be made... Uh, it's like, just say network play. That, that's it. That's all you should say. It's not an MMO, but you can, like, connect with other people. It's... Yeah, the thing, yeah, it, there is kind of a divide, because there, there, there's always going to be people in an MMO that are, like, really serious, hardcore people. Yeah. And then you're going to yeah. just have the casual guys that just come in. If it's a free-to-play, of course, because if it's a subscription, you're not going to get the casual people coming in, because, obviously, they're not going to dish out, like, $30 a month. Or yeah. three dollars for months or something to yeah. play a game, which is why lots of people are getting really pissed about Star Wars: Jedi Republic because they think it's just going to ruin the game because <laughs> there's going to be so many. This this is the thing I don't, I don't get. Yes, there's going to be a lot of people coming in that are probably going to be dickheads, but on the other hand, there's going to be a lot more people playing the fucking game. Yeah, well, yeah, and that's what I say. I mean, if you're going to pay thirty bucks a month. You, I suppose you're allowed to be a dickhead to anyone. Well, let's just let's just face it. At least Star Wars is doing better than Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah, yeah, agreed. <laughs> it's really a contest of uh, which company can materialise more. It's <laughs> it's all about the subscribers, like how many subs you can get. It's or always about them. like like Final Fantasy not experimenting in the slightest, all doing the same shit, and Star Wars doing different shit all the time and absolutely alienating everyone it's, it's yeah, a really yeah. contest between the exactly. two <laughs> that's, a, that's a very good way of looking at it um actually uh, speaking of MMOs kind of um <laughs> this is something which I love people who buy every uh, volume of the current anime Sword Art Online have a chance at winning a actual replica of the main character's sword. Oh, oh I thought you meant a life statue. That would be good. You can oh, win I'll, I'll... a real sword. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That, that's a prize worth winning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but does, does anyone really use the sword for its actual no. purpose? It's all about a trophy. I mean, does anyone it's who would want a life size replica? Well, like, yeah, but it's, it's still. It's, it's actually quite a badass looking sword, really. I'm sure it is. Yeah. It should be like one of those really, really huge swords, like the Buster Sword or something, where you can't even oh, lift. Yeah. How would you fit that in your room? <laughs> <laughs> you have, yeah. have to like walk it in with, like, with a forklift and be like, all right, back it up, back it up. Oh, oh God damn it, you hit the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like almost a, a safety clause. It's like, yeah, it's a sword, but... You're not going to be able to hurt anyone with it because you won't even be able to lift the thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
Um, it just be the size of Ganondorf to do something with that. Yeah. <laughs> um, there was also um, last month. There was, I believe it was last month anyway. There was a event in America called Sonic Boom. Did ZZ and Preston go to it? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say that the whole thing was basically an American version of uh, Summer of Sonic, which is basically the uh, Sonic convention over here. And they unveiled two quite interesting things right up, right after one another. First, no. Firstly, they unveiled that um, Sonic will be in the upcoming Disney movie Wreck It Ralph. Uh, and yeah, well, cool. yeah, and will actually be voiced. I'm looking forward yeah. to seeing that. And will actually be voiced by Roger Craig Smith, who currently voices him in the games. Mm, that's gonna be. Well, I gotta go see that. Yeah, the, they yeah. actually showed the clip uh, at the uh -huh. event, and I swear it's basically like a little nod to the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, because it's Sonic yeah. doing a PSA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you actually mentioned that to me. Yeah, oh yeah, that's right. It's like. Don't jump games and stuff. Eh? Yeah, <laughs> that's great. Uh, it's such a great little, great little cameo. There is and then modern Sonic or yeah, it's modern Sonic. Sonic. Oh, I, I like modern Sonic. Yeah, uh, I well, so do I. I'm not, I'm not like one of those Sonic idiots. Mm. Uh, that's what I call them. People who believe retro is the only way to go. You're an idiot. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind classic Sonic, but we've got to move on. Mm. But then, is right, nothing to be uh, yeah. scared. Of. But then, right afterwards, they announced that Wreck-It Ralph himself will be playable in Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. Yeah. I'm going, okay. Yeah, I will say, I will say, that's a damn, that's a better character to have in a game than a fucking NASCAR driver. Yes. And it also makes a lot more sense. Sense. Mm -hmm. It's a great it's, addition, because he actually does... When you think... Yeah, when you see the yeah, trailer, no. he actually really does fit with all the other characters. Yeah, you know what would be really, really cool? You know what would be really cool? If in the actual movie, they had a segment where it actually goes into Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. Yeah, I mean, they, they kind of... They, there is a racing cool. segment, but it's not... It's more of a... I think it's more of a spoof of Mario Kart. So, so what was it no, called? Cool. Rocket Ralph? Wreck-It Ralph. Wreck-It Ralph. Wreck-It Ralph. Wreck -It Ralph. So, uh, does any game companies own Wreck-It Ralph? I don't no, think so. I think, I, I, I I'm have pretty sure they might it, try like to it. turn it into a game. Well, I, I believe they already have. Yeah. yeah. You can actually yeah, play, you can actually that's play. That's play. That's like yeah, because um, the whole idea of the movie is the fact that um, uh, Wreck-It Ralph is actually the villain of this old classic game, and he's basically yeah. had enough and goes off and goes off his own yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. But complete. you can actually play that classic game somewhere. <laughs> I, f I think you can actually play it online or something like that. They have actually made it. Um, I, reckon, I have to say, I mean, probably would have taken a bit to get all the um, copyright see, stuff out. Of like yeah, I believe, I believe there is over two hundred licensed characters in the game in the in the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah like I said, it would have taken a lot of red tape. Should be this movie. Oh, the game well, you were just talking about. It should be like you play the old school like two D graphics, and once you complete that. It, it goes to a normal like 3D game as you would expect, but you have to like play it. So it's really like a joke. It's like uh, saying, I, I paid Sonic 60 Troll. bucks for this. Shit. <laughs> and if you if you complete it, you'll get the rest of the game. If you if you have no patience, you're not gonna. So yeah. that would be great to troll the Sonic fans. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. classic Sonic, and then out of nowhere, fucking 3D. <laughs> yeah. Um. Just um. Keeping with Wreck-It Ralph. Um. There was something recently about. About um, Nintendo apparently kind of bitched about the movie because they were they were actually said there's guns in it. no they actually believed that Bowser is too small. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Bowser, Bowser couldn't sit in that. Stroking, room. stroking your dick much, Nintendo. I know it's like this coming from the people who made Bowser like enormous in sunshine, yet about. Only twice as big as Mario in 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 Galaxy. Yeah, and don't forget Brawl. <laughs> yeah, you're changing his size all the fucking time, Nintendo. Stop your bitching. Mm. They have to fit him into that tiny fucking room, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, otherwise, otherwise, people will bitch about how well, how did Bowser get through that door? 
Exactly. That would be the next thing. It's such a stupid no, no, no. The logical comment. thing is that they would have built the room around Bowser, and then he would just jump out the window. Well, that's kind of fucked Yeah. Yeah, Bowser... Yeah, sorry, Nintendo, but Bowser is not Godzilla. Hmm. Godzilla. Okay. Okay, uh, so, moving on. Did any of you ever watch Code Lyoko? No. I heard of it. Yeah, I've heard of it, but I haven't watched it. Um, well, Is that the, the French anime? Yeah. Yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah. I've seen clips of it anyway. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's coming back. Uh, oh. Back from outer space. <laughs> uh, sort of. Oh, sort of. It's called, Co like it's called Code Lyoko Evolution, and instead of being half animated, half CGI, it's going to be half live action, half oh, CGI. No, 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 no. live action, no. <laughs> oh, Cannot God. be done. Cannot be done. <laughs> but what what makes me wonder is because, like I said, this is a French series, mm. and obviously, all the actors and everything are going to be French. And so, like so why it. the hell? So, basic. The biggest question right now is, why do they still have an English website for the series? Yeah, because yeah, there's no way it's going to get dubbed. Yeah, the, dub there, there's either three things that can happen. Either one, it will never get released outside of France. Two, it will be very badly dubbed. Very badly. Mm. And I don't mean just the CGI. I mean. The entire thing. Which is just going to be weird. I'm kind of glad I didn't watch it now. Because I would have been upset about this news. Yeah. I loved, I I, I loved yeah. the original Code Oko. It was surprisingly good. For but the, the, French, the third mean, thing... I think, I think, I think when you're dubbing something. When you're dubbing something. You can fill in mouth flap when it's... Uh, yeah. Japanese, like there's there's t there's space that you can fill. When it's live action, it's really hard to do. Yeah, that that's the biggest problem. The movements are more precise. Yeah, the third option, the one which kind of seems the most unlikely, but could still happen, is that they may actually redo all the live action segments with English actors. That's why. That's why. Like, that that would cost a bit of money to make like, helmet like, characters happen. Yeah. Yeah, it would it would cost money, but it would make a lot more lot more fucking sense. Because it would basically it would become work. like Power Rangers. Yeah, that would <laughs> be awesome. Code Lyoko Power Rangers. Yeah! <laughs> oh, well. Well, yeah. Uh, right. Is that it? No, three, three more small pieces of news. Mm. Sure, we actually have a lot of news. We have yep. enough news to fill well, the room. Well, yeah, we are a a week late, and b it's like we, we, there's been a lot of shows. news. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Naretsu, do you remember how much we bitch about Beyblade? Yeah. Oh no, 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 no. God, no. They're, They're making not. a spin-off of Beyblade. Oh fuck no! Called <laughs> Bay Wheels. Oh God, no. No, <laughs> that sounds awesome. Oh, instead of it so being, be yeah, good. instead of it being battle battling spinning tops, it's battling spinning wheels. No. Wheels. They have released an anime trailer for it. Yeah, they're playing card so games as well. I will, Nuretsu, I will show it to you later because I so want to see your reaction to this. Oh yeah. Boy. No, you record that shit. Yes, I will, because <laughs> it is officially the biggest sellout and retarded idea I have seen in fucking years. I did, and I will say this right now, the toys exist already because there was those, what were they called, rip wheels or something? Yeah, something that like they that. Had, but you, yeah. Like you the, just no. know the creator of that. It's like, I, I don't give a fuck about, like, anime at all. I'm just going to you know, be generic about like, what I'm going to bring out. Really People who did the original Beyblade will be spinning in their coffins right now. <laughs> if they're dead. Yeah. Just saying. I mean, yeah, the, the, original, original the original free Beyblade series, and in some regards the movie, that was we Beyblade to me. Good. That's all yeah, you need. and they were good. It was generally quite good. Yeah. Oh. Then they fucking sold out. Yeah. 
First with this Metal Fusion bullshit, and now with this. This is no. They just ruined the fan franchise. Yeah. It's kind of what happens all the time. Anything that's successful in any way has to be brought up and ruined. Otherwise, no. it just would be successful. Too, though. Beyblade was dead for, like, years, and then they just, out of nowhere, come out with Metal Fusion. It's like, what the fuck, guys? Yeah. See, you, you should really, like, if you ever release an anime, you should release a shitty anime and wait for it to be remade good. <laughs> the opposite way around never works out well. Yeah. <laughs> right, um, now, if you're, if you're subscribed to us on YouTube, you may have noticed that we've started an, a new LP. Yeah! Which was uh, Hyper Dimension right. Neptunia. Now, obviously, I do need to apologise for the large break in between parts. Um, this is basically because I've been trying so hard to get a hold of, of Preston to record the next batch of parts before I can upload any more. So that, and it takes Carter four you. fucking hours to render the video, guys. Can't yeah. <laughs> well, I've on, well, in terms of recording, I'm actually almost finished. Editing, I'm not too far behind. Getting videos ready for commentary... I still need to do a bit, and I've only just found a way to. I've only just found out a new way to speed that process up. So, so and, calm down, all eight of you. Yeah, and I'm basically just waiting to get Preston online so I can actually do some more commentary. Um, like but you, speaking of, but the main reason I'm bringing it up is because Neptunia, well, Neptunia Mark Two, is now available on the US and EU PSN as a downloadable game. Yay. Okay. Now, I actually do recommend checking it out because it's so fucking they stupid, but it is a million game. times better than the first game. Oh. Okay. And especially because they don't... Well, it kind of speaks reason as to the fact that the first game isn't available on PSN. Mm. But the sequel is. Mm. Kind of sort of proves that they really don't want people to be playing the first game that much. Mm. It does not exist. This was the this was the demo. This it kind of is. I, the family. I do pretty much treat the first game as just a demo for Mark II. Yeah. Because mm. <laughs> there's so many differences and it's so much better. Oh, well, we'll just have to wait till we get to that Let's Play. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and final bit of news. <laughs> right. Have you guys actually been keeping up with the Olympics? No. Why would I want to? <laughs> you, yeah, you guys you, didn't even watch... You're aware who you're talking to, right? Yeah, you you mean say. to tell me that neither of you watched the opening ceremony? No. No. You fucking idiots. <laughs> Was there a massacre? I missed it because it, it was at like four in the fucking morning, Carter. You can watch it online for fuck's sake. I didn't give a fuck about the Olympics. The opening <laughs> ceremony was fantastic. Okay. It had it I had the no, it guys. It had the Queen and James Bond jumping out of a helicopter. Oh yeah, oh, yeah that yeah, I'm, I'm sure. It had Queen it had Mr. Bean. It had Mr. There. Bean no, sure. in an orchestra. Oh. <laughs> I didn't see those bits because it was on the news, yeah. Oh. And, right. and the bit most people were talking about, even though I don't really get why they were talking about this most mostly, it had Voldemort fighting Mary Poppins. <laughs> okay, that, that does sound awesome. <laughs> it was fucking insane and it was brilliant. Yeah. All right. Voldemort fighting Mary Poppins. Yeah! <laughs> Mary Poppins fight. How the fuck do you do that? Watch it. <laughs> Mary Mary Poppins note to self, look up the opening ceremony. Yeah, but no. I'm surprised by just the sheer amount of news that has been coming out of the Olympics recently. Most including, all including no, all the news stuff. relating to anime and gaming. <laughs> really? Yes. Because we've got one person on the Japanese uh, team who was actually inspired by a manga. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. of the manga, he got into gymnastics. Okay. Then we I have. Wanted to, I wanted to do gymnastics. Yeah. Then we've got another that. another uh, person who wants to become an anime voice actor. Yeah. Yeah, their dream yeah. isn't Olympic gold; is to become an anime voice actor. I love that. Yeah. yeah. 
Then we've got <laughs> then we've got one person who has a sonic tattoo. Face. <laughs> 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 and the last bit, which is which is really the first bit of news that I heard about, which I loved. That was just real. Yeah. There there was a gymnast who actually did their performance to a piece of Zelda music. Oh <laughs> fuck yes. Yeah. That would be the national anthem of fucking Japan one day. I got it. I mean, unfortunately, they didn't actually do all that well, but it was like, they're doing Zelda music? Yeah. It goes to show, it just goes to show how integrated our culture is beginning to become in yeah. today society. Oh, at last. Maybe, maybe yeah. the minds were right. For me, mm. this has been the most interesting Olympics of all time, because it's like, Wow, there's actually been quite a lot that's well, interested me. Well, not not for me, because none of the stuff gets covered in New Zealand. The only thing we give a shit about is the fucking needles. Who gives <laughs> a shit about the needles? We, I want to hear about the guy with the sonic tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck the needles. This is <laughs> why I go to so many gaming sites, because they talk about this stuff. Yeah. Well, speaking of that, I mean, I, I heard a, like a news report, something like news report on the YouTube or whatever. So they say, guess how much... Our country pays uh, an Olympic gold medalist if he wins. Oh God! Because other countries pay money if they if they get like gold, silver, or bronze, or whatever. Mm. So our country, the UK, gives fuck all if they <laughs> win. And it, well, I think that's the same here because I have no idea. No, no, no. We, we apparently, apparently, the UK is the only country who does not. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, it, wow. yeah. Oh, oh, great, great, you won. Uh, yeah. You, you might as well you know, give you us You get a that worthless piece of now. gold. You get a worthless well, for, piece for of me, gold. That, for me, that kind of is, is better because it actually proves that they care more about getting the medal and probably accomplishing that their goals. That like an excuse to me. I mean, yeah. I don't believe in paying them, but yeah. it, does, it does show how much the countries care about it. And we claim we care about it. We don't. We don't give a fuck. Well, how much money have you all spent on the Olympics so far? Like, Millions. Oh, a couple million. Oh, exactly. Yeah. All More that money... than we can afford. Exactly. All this money for a sporting event. You know, this is what I don't get. Yeah, I mean, like, now yeah. Three hospitals a year. But, you know, a big fucking we're stadium. Gonna, we're going to have a giant sport. We're going to have a giant sport event where Mary Poppins versus Voldemort and yeah. we're going to pay billions of dollars to do it but just because it would be fun. For me, I don't... Yeah, I don't care really about the Olympics, but it's actually been a lot of fun. Mm. And I will say well, this... I suppose, suppose it does actually worth mentioning because of the uh, gaming uh, angle of it. Yeah, it's, it's, mm. it has actually been... Like I said, the opening ceremony, as stupid as it was, it was really good. And I believe the closing ceremony is going to be on the on Sunday, so... I need to try and watch it, even though I think I'd have to get up at five, and I only have the energy to get up at four in the morning once per week. Two. <sighs> but it's, it's, yeah, but yeah, uh, that's basically all the uh, Olympic news and all the general news. Alright. Uh, so, so I recently, like, brought a bunch of old games for my brother, and uh, y you know me, I'm pretty old school. So I thought, like, uh, Birth of Federation, my favourite game ever, which I just got for free, which I'm very crap at. I got uh, Medieval Total War, which I'm very crap at. I got Home of Two, which I'm I never sensing played, a theme. So I'm sure, so I'm sure I'm very crap at. And so I just bought games I'm bad at playing. Isn't that a weird thing to have happen? Mm. Well, you know, here's the thing: you, you keep playing them and playing them and playing them, you'll get better. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, sure, I'm, sure. I'm sure that makes sense. It's just that I'm, I enjoy yeah, them. Actually, it's but that's so weird it's because just... when it's competitive, when I'm fighting like someone else, I really yeah. give a damn about it. When it when it's like yeah. on my own, I was like, oh, well, I just play for fun. Yeah. Damn, I yeah, suck at this. This reminds me of a news story that I read recently about a kid in America who spent five days straight playing Call of Duty. <laughs> Only five? <laughs> <laughs> Well, he did get hospitalised, so... Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> yeah, which is kind of sad when you think about it. Uh, I, I he only took a break Warcraft. to I get snacks the, uh, and have a shower. I thought the Warcraft online players did far worse. Oh, oh I've heard of people, like, doing it for longer. Like, yeah. Eight years straight. Yeah. But the problem is the fact that he's so young, though. 
Yeah. The fact that he's, he's like probably my age and he's doing that. I mean, sure, I marathon games. Hey, I've spent like 41 hours in Fallout New Vegas since oh, I've got it. Have. But I haven't, like, I haven't like fucking like not slept, not gone to school, not bloody... Yeah, I mean, I, I could play I could play games for a really long time, but I, I, I never you can do a twenty four hours. If you haven't played a game longer than like the rest of the activity of the day. Yeah, oh yeah, I've If you don't spend the majority day. of the game spent... day playing a game, you can't be called a gamer. Yeah, hmm. I've spent I've spent an entire day from like when I get up to when I go to bed playing a game. That that's nothing. Yeah. That's absolutely nothing. I mean I I wouldn't push myself if I the thing is, I like I wouldn't push myself further than what I know my body can't handle. Yeah, that's my rule. Like if I feel tired, I'll go to sleep. If I'm playing a game, I because I, I, I know when to quit, put it quits. Because if you don't put it quits, you get dehydrated, and that happens. Yeah. You get hospital. For, me, for me, it's it's still the biggest question of where are the parents in these in these cases? Oh, the parent the parent has apparently taken away his Xbox, so. You know that uh, what good. Yet they was. didn't meant that they didn't wonder. Oh, oh, he's been up for five days. Days. A legitimate health issue for gamers, yes. and they don't yes. use that to try to ban it. They just use ridiculous excuses like, "Oh, this yeah. this game had an 18 rating, and I, I let my 12 yeah. year old play it." Actually, that, that's not that, an issue. That's what? not a problem. That actually kind of. people what? who get addicted to. I it. actually did see a case of bad parenting recently. Yeah. Um. I was I was having a look around our games game station, and um, there was just like a, a family just like having a look, look around the games, and I saw this kid. He must have been about eight or something, and I believe, I've got a far worse story yeah, and he this, he was he was actually looking at I believe it was actually Battlefield, right? And the parent just went, "Do you want this?" And the kid went, "Yeah." It's the new one. I mean, for fuck's sake! No, no, no. That that eight-year-old. The, the, the eight-year-old. The eight-year-old doesn't have therapy. the cognitive. Yeah, hang on. But the eight-year-old doesn't have the cognitive ability to be able to play it efficiently. So really, even if you did buy it for him, the kid's not going to be good at it anyway. Because you need to have. But there's still like the that idea field. that it's you know it's an eighteen mm. game, and you're buying well, it for an eight-year-old. People yeah. don't care, mate. Like, seriously. In New Zealand, like, the, the law... I, I could walk into a shop and get an R18 game, even though I'm 16. Like, they won't care. I mean, yeah. even if it's, like, a $5,000 fine. I know. Like, it's, like, it's, like, people just don't care. I know, it's just the, the fact the, that... I mean, I... I've been, pre I've been pretty lucky. It's like, I... I was able to play, um... The original GTA when I was, like, 12. Yeah. yeah. yeah I, and everything. Oh, but well, it's, it's just the fact that... I don't like the I'm idea they, like that when I was 11, I guess. for me it's just the fact that they were clearly all together and the mm. people in the shop could easily tell that all oh, they're going to buy this game for an underage kid. No, I, it's I like mean, buying them beer. About, like underage kids like playing older games because you know it depends on the maturity of the actual kid if you can handle it. I, I played like those games like you were saying Carto when I was underage. I, I'm fine. Yeah. It's, yeah it's, I know. I know. I know. The parents' blatant uh, action of like, oh yeah, I, I know I'm breaking the law here. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I don't think I own an R18 game on my Xbox. I know I've gotten uh, R15s. Which I yeah. was playing when I was quite young, but I never. I don't think my mum ever got an R eighteen when I was. As old yeah, as but it's it's, a, it's just the fact that what got me was the fact that it kind of made the kid made it sound like he's been playing these for ages. Oh right, that's really no, no, no. That, that that annoys me because yeah, that's what really got like, to me. It's like you're really letting a kid that's no older than eight play all these play adult game. games. And he's probably yeah, been playing a lot younger than that even. The, yeah, and that's what yeah. I don't like. It's like, I don't mind it if they're... You know, because like, like I said, I was about 11, 12 when I first played uh, Grand Theft Auto. Well, you mm. should really judge the uh, maturity of the actual kid first. Yeah, yeah but all the kid was not mature physical. at all. He was bouncing around and really energetic and stuff like that. I was like, oh, God. No, no, it's just bad. Yeah. Because like I said, I, I was quite mature when I was a kid. Yeah, so, so I mean, so was I. <laughs> But, you know, like I said, I reckon this should be, Not like... physically, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. In terms of, like, 
actual gaming as a whole, really, the best age to introduce someone to gaming would probably be, I don't know, eight. Well, you'd introduce them at eight, but you'd introduce them to games that were, like, pretty simple. Yeah. If you know what I mean. I mean, my first game, okay, given, this, my first two games that I got when I first got my Xbox was James Bond and a racing game. <laughs> Which was a rally cart game. Well, I've been, then, I've been, I've been gaming for, well, almost as long as I can remember. But I mean, yeah, and that, yeah. that's another thing about that. I, I, I think I've seen like racing games that are like rated fifteen. Yeah. How does that work? How, how is this unacceptable to show to anyone younger than fifteen? Yeah, I mean, for me, for me, it's basically the fact that, while I don't, I don't really mind you introducing games to kids at a young age. Yeah. I don't mind that. It's just like you've got to choose the right games. Yeah, you do. Because like yeah. I said, I, I started with James Bond, yeah. which was really good. Because the thing about James, the James Bond game I had was, it was not it was it was a James Bond game. You know, the James yeah, well, Bond movies. Well, well, how were old? Pretty... How old were you? Oh God. Um, let me see. It was two thousand and four or two thousand three four. So I would probably have been about either six or seven when I got the game. I don't know what age rating it was. It definitely wasn't R18. It was probably only about PG. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like you know, when it comes to the James Bond stuff, there's not really a lot of blood or anything. Yeah, yeah, especially in the older James Bond games. Yeah, so really I don't, I don't mind. They couldn't the fucking blood. Yeah, those I don't, I don't really see much of a problem with. It's, it's, it's games like Gears of War. Yeah. Where there's well, blood they, everywhere. They significantly more violent than yeah. what they used to be, which is the problem. For me, if you want to get your kid into gaming. Start them off with Mario, or something like that. Start them off yeah, with Mario, not fucking game. Halo. Because, of course, the next game that I got was Blinks the Cat for the yeah. Xbox. That makes which sense. was my introduction to stuff like Mario and Sonic. That was, like, my first introduction to characters like that. Yeah. And then, of course, the game I got was Country Chaos, and that game was, like, really fucking hard. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, so, the, the worst example of parenting I've ever seen was, like, I, I was, like I said, I, I used to live in London... And I was like walking across the street with like my brothers and whatnot, and I, I just walked across an alley, and there was like an, an eight year old kid smoking, and uh, no, oh, not God. only that, but he, he was with his mum, and he said uh, the mum was like, oh come on then, he says I am smoking here, wait for me. So so not only was the kid smoking, but he was. Are you like, sure very, it wasn't a midget? Oh, it was, it was a kid. It was very young. Oh, it wasn't oh. a midget or anything like that. It was so. As bad as as questionable as the gaming thing you were just talking about, I'm sure that was far worse. And oh, far worse well, things I've happen. Seen, I mean, have we heard about that kid in like what Guatemala or something who smokes uh, like kid in diapers and shit? Like, no. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, I think I saw that. It's like, oh god. It's like, surely, surely this was not an actual choice that the kid made to smoke. I mean, no, to have been encouraged by someone else. And well, and not only the statistics show that like ninety percent of people who smoke like smoke only because their parents smoke. Like it's just a, like I want to be like daddy or something. Yeah. Like it's a psychological thing. And it's, it's which is like, just like, kids yeah. drinking underage and all that. Right? It's like don't don't you realize you're the example? Yeah. At the very least, don't do it in front of your kids. At the very least, criticise it. At the very least, use the law as an example why you can't do these things. Yeah. No, yeah. no none of it. Yeah, so it's, it's... Parenting today has just gone really down the shit. <laughs> if I was as dumb as that kid, I, I would probably hurt myself as much. But because I'm not as stupid, because I recognise smoking and alcohol is bad for me, I, I would yeah. avoid it. Especially but, smoking, because smoking is just can't, it's just bad. You don't smoke. Yeah. And I'm actually no, really happy. No, ma my no matter where you, trying. yeah, it's like no matter where you stand, smoking is bad. Yeah. Literally, like wherever country, you stand, because it's like even if you're just walking by and somebody breathes smoke in your face, oh. that infects you. See, it's well, well, like See, I'm saying, my country, my country is really good with this because what they're trying to do, they're trying to make the entire country smoke free by 2025. That's oh, the goal. I might just move to the whole country. country. Mm. Yeah, my, no, yeah, my entire country wants to banish smoking by 2025. And the way they're going to do it is, A, they're getting rid of the packaging, so you can only have just blank labels, and two, they're going to start slowly taxing it. So what's happening is they're slowly rising the... 
price. Yeah, but so eventually it's going to be like a hundred dollars a packet, and then no one will be able to buy it. Yeah. And that's what you have yeah, to do. No if you made like the packages, if you, if you made it like a hundred yeah. something dollars per packet, packaging. no one in the right mind would have to be able to buy it. Yeah. You know, blank packaging is just something that. But of course, the tobacco company is going, rrr, 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 stopping us from advertising. Rrr, 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 rrr. Well, you're making a product that fucking kills people. I mean, and you can't see that it's fucking. Good God. <laughs> Smoking is just. Like, you're going out some. Am I the only one who's here in this country? Yeah, my, anyway. mine's <laughs> screwing up again. Oh, it's, it's just, just new exit. Just just you were cutting out somewhat new exit. Yeah, my, mine keeps on freezing and everything, so it's really difficult. It's either mine, it's I, either I mine or it's something, something funny in the middle there where you totally go off. Topic. And it, this only seems to happen. Yeah, like, I think it's, it's it might be. I think it might be only. I think it only happens when there's more than two people on the call. And what we should try, maybe, and I know this is probably going to be boring for people in the past, maybe we should try having someone else host the call. And no, no, it's not that. It's it's just... Um, At least you have to be hosting no. more to... No, it's just every, every time no, we seem... No, guys, isn't the... it's every time we seem to be going over 50 minutes in the call. That's when it really starts up. No, it's not... Uh, no, it is. No, because we've been talking for about 50 minutes now, and it's like yeah. screwing up, and that's the same around the same time that last time that happened. It's Maybe it's to do with the recording. Calls. Maybe the recording is sucking on the internet connection or something. I don't know. Probably. Well, we could try, because I'm pretty sure when I, I read somewhere that the person who hosts the call is the person whose internet is being, like, the one that's hosting the call. The we're, one's person's well, we're, al we're almost the, done, the so... The person hosting the call is the uh, person hosting the call. Is uh, what we're, al we're almost done anyway, so... Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I was about to say. I mean, it's, uh, do we, do we want to do my... um? My rant in the midjig with someone else to read. Uh, it. no, we just I just want to uh, quickly go through a series acquisitions list. Then series we'll... acquisitions. Yeah. We've been uh, buying series. Some new some new series have been acquired for release, so just thought I'd uh, quickly go over them. Annoyingly. Okay. <sighs> First up, uh, and possibly the most annoying to me. Is Guilty Crown is coming to DVD and Blu-ray in the UK. What's Guilty Crown? The worst thing ever. Even more than Death Note? Mm, possibly. Second worst thing ever. Well, I haven't watched Death Note, so I have no opinions on it. I do, but he, he hates it so mm. much. So I just have, always have to say that to him. Well, for, for me, guilt, um, Death Note is just something that I just find so pathetic that people like. Guilty Crown is just oh, so infuriating. You're upset so, it's kind of like, so it's kind of like Naruto in a way that you just can't see how so many people like it. Like, kind of, yeah. Those... It's like, I watched the first episode and I was like, like this is shit. Alright, mm. mm. I, I like But with, with Guilty Crown, it's just... If you pay attention to its story, it will piss you off. Because it makes mm. no fucking sense and I bitched about it way too much in the season review yeah, so I'm going to leave it there mm. Ugh. anyway other stuff coming uh, e Fractale Evangelion makes perfect sense Phil what Evangelion <laughs> makes perfect sense I can't pronounce that perfect. I, I swear to god Evangelion does make more sense than Guilty Crown <laughs> Especially considering the main character in Guilty Crown is a bigger whiner than Shinji. Okay. Well, that's okay. saying something. I know. Calm down. Yeah, yeah. we should probably stop getting you on about yeah. fucking Guilty Crown and move on before we make this five hours yeah. long. Yeah. Anyway, other shows. Uh, we've got Fractale, Aria of the Scarlet Ammo, uh, Jormungad, um, Steins Gates, yeah, Maybe getting a Blu-ray release. Maybe getting Blu-ray. Yeah. Hey, it's, get, it's getting a DVD release. So I'm happy because it Yeah, I, I just want if it's DVD Blu-ray. Don't care. We're getting it. Fuck yes. So how yeah, exactly do you people get introduced to these? I mean, is it like free on the internet at the beginning? And Pretty then much. DVDs. Most oh, people right. just find out about the show through similar casting, then. Companies find out which shows people are really watching, so they license those ones, then work on the dub. I'm like baffled about how 
because most of these aren't being shown on TV. So how are oh, they? They have oh. they have their spies on the internet. They're yeah. Spying around. And they're they just basically they to basically just look around. Right now. Yeah, they basically just look around at what, what series most people are really talking about. Right. Then they just focus on those ones. But how are they? they yeah. How do they know if it's good or not? That's what I'm saying. From a because well, most people are talking about it. If it's being, they don't care if it's good enough. If it, if it gets enough views, they'll just do something. Yeah, if, if if enough people are talking about it, if enough people are watching the videos, then they'll say, right, we're doing that one. All right. Um, but yeah. Um, doesn't really answer my question. But yeah. I, 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 uh, Manga UK also said that um, if Dragon Ball Z sells well over here, then we may be getting One Piece. Oh. Now Gaia. I don't want it. I don't like One Piece. It just One Piece good. isn't too bad. It's just fucking no, long. I've never watched it. I've never watched the series. It just looks weird to me. It looks like oh my, that's not that's not it's my just first one. It's, no. it's just standard shonen series. But hey, just be thankful it's not the four kids dub because that's fucking horrible. Oh yeah. I had, the chance to, I had the chance to watch some 4Kids episodes when my friend brought a DVD to school. Oh, fuck, I can tell you what, I gave him a good telling off for bringing that shit to <laughs> yeah, I, What I the can, fuck are you doing? For me, the biggest problem with One Piece is the fact that it's still going. It's uh, like Naruto and Bleach are just... No, nah, Bleach has ended. Well, Naruto, well, that, that, that's Naruto has said that there's, there is an end in sight. Well, that could be... One, that doesn't yeah. mean good so One Piece, they're milking for all it's worth because it's the top-selling manga in Japan, period. Yeah, well, One Piece is apparently quite good, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they're milking it for all it's worth. They're stretching it out, and I'm like, I don't fucking care about all this filler. Yeah. Mm. But, you don't, uh, but you don't hate it. You just hate how long it's going. Yeah, it's like yeah. if they if they just that's cut the, it. That's the thing with most shonen shows, actually. Like it's it's not the fact that, that it's not the show itself that puts me off it. It's the fact that I would have to watch every single fucking episode. Yeah, <laughs> and there's just too many. If they condensed it down into series, and you had a whole bunch of series instead of just having one long ass series, that would be a bit easier to do because so then you, you could just watch it series and series. So you think they should do with that like they've done with uh, Dragon Ball Z with Kai, whatever. Yeah. yeah, like, if you condensed like, it down, it like, down for instance, it. if you did, like, the first, like, let's say the first 50 episodes, that's one series, and then the yeah. next 50 episodes, that's another series. Like, if you did it like that, that would make it a ton easier to watch, because it means you don't have to watch everything in one go. You can just slowly yeah, chip I mean, away it. For me, it's basically the fact that, like I say, it's the filler. I hate the yeah, filler. Yeah. So, oh, me... Oh, it's not one of those filler shows, is it? Yes. It's just like Dragon Ball Z. Yes. Oh, oh. It every long, every long-running anime has filler episodes. Their it's stories, filler. which yeah, filler episodes, are stuff are stories which were not in the original manga. They're created just for the anime, yeah. just so that the manga can have a chance to get ahead of it more. Mm. So, in other words, the real the real thing they should do is wait for the manga to finish. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, I I hate filler ones. It's just, I mean. Like, like I said, Dragon Ball is like one of the better shows out there, but the filler is so intolerable. It's like, don't you realise you could end this in one episode and you're stretching it out to five? It's, what the fuck? Yeah. Uh, oh, it's, it's, no. I just... That's the main reason why I don't really watch a lot of... Even though I do quite like Bleach, I don't watch it yeah. all that much because there's a ton of filler. Yeah. Well, I've seen, I've seen the first season of Bleach, which is episodes Bleach. 1 through to 25, I think. It's either 1 through to 25 or 1 through to 20. Bleach isn't that bad in terms of a show. It's not the best anime I've yeah. ever seen, but it's definitely pretty good. It's just that I, well, I have, I, I've decided that in terms of Bleach, I'm going to watch up to the end of the Soul Society arc, and then I'm going to stop, because I'm not going to go any further than that. Yeah. Because <laughs> from what I hear, that's also the point in the manga where the manga starts getting bad after the Soul Society arc. So <laughs> I'm going to watch up to there, and then I'm actually reading up to the end watching up to the end and then I'm going to either stop or decide whether or not I actually want to put myself through the torment of going through <laughs> <laughs> I, I see what you're saying you, you shouldn't limit yourself to how much you expose because then eventually yeah. you'll just end up hating the show yeah because it's, it's just the fact that a lot of these 
manga and everything. It's like, I mean, think about Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, that, that was that was, that was a that was quite a long manga series, and yet they were able to quite easily condense condense it down into just fifty two episodes. And then they did it, it really great. fucking well. Yeah. So it's like, why can't you do that with all these other Shonen shows? Oh, because more episodes means more DVDs. More, more DVDs means more sales. It doesn't matter if people no, don't not like it. You, not when you price your Formula Alchemist DVDs at 60 bucks a pot. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's quality over quantity, so yeah, exactly. you've got to give them that. Yeah, indeed, indeed. And the last, the last little series acquisition, sort of. Um, to further kind of piss off the people in America. Um, as, you, as we all know you love to do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the UK release of the Persona 4 anime may have collector's editions. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so, not only with our, will our Blu-ray release include the Japanese voice track, it may also come with stuff like soundtrack CDs, art books, stuff like that. Maybe a fi maybe a figure or two if it's in a nice little box. Maybe. Maybe. Anyway, they probably <laughs> forget that the Americans just don't have the money anymore. Mm. Yeah, they did for Lucky Star. <laughs> I need a watch. I haven't watched all Lucky Star. I watched like the first three. Yeah, they they got all the special editions for Lucky Star, but apparently they didn't actually sell all that well. So that's why we didn't get the series over <laughs> here until Lucky the box Star. set version. <laughs> Yeah. I wanted the dub of the OVAs, and you're telling me they would never happen. Nope, because the series was a flop. What? Yeah. Well, Lucky Star was a flop. The series well, yeah, was a flop. Yeah, oh, in, the OVAs. Was, no, in Japan, in Japan, Lucky Star did really well, and that's why most people talked about it. When the yeah. dub was released, people didn't care. I thought it's a great show. Yeah. It's not bad. Like I said, it's not bad. It was kind of slow, though, for me. I thought it was a bit too slow-paced. For, well, no, like, for me, it, it just can't... The reason most people seem to hate it was the same reason most people seem to hate the the K-On dub. Mm. Which Am I the only makes one who no sense. It's too no no would make a few couple. Oh. Yeah. Well, it's, it's just fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Like I said, the, like the main reason I wasn't actually in the Lucky Star review with Pika and Red Mage was A, because I was surfing, well, I wasn't surfing, I went on holiday at the time, and B, I actually didn't watch all of the show, I only got to, like, episode three, and then I stopped, and I just said, right, well, I'm going on holiday anyway, so you guys might as well just do it on your own, yeah. and they still managed to fuck See, it up. Like, <laughs> you watched only completely. up to episode three? I only watched up to episode three on Lucky Star, and then I stopped, because I, I don't even know why I stopped, I just did. Like, I just couldn't bring myself to watch I, I it. I won't means. say it gets incredibly better after that, but it, it does. Yeah. You have to love, you have to get more, more attached to the characters before you can truly yeah, yeah. Like, like I said, like yeah, I said, it wasn't better. Yeah, for me, for me, Lucky Star was good in the middle. Yeah. yeah. The, the middle episodes, they're really the best. Like, the first few are kind of, yeah, the last ones you are, are more sort of disappointing. But in the middle, yeah. they really do. Here's some good good ideas. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah. So is that all the stuff we got to talk about? Um, yeah, that seems to is be. Is that it. how long we've been going? For? Unless unless we come up with another topic. No, because I think we're gonna we're gonna end the podcast here. But uh, we are going to record a bonus video of <laughs> Naretsu watching that oh, Bay Wheels trailer. Bay Wheels, yeah, this is gonna be yeah. pretty good. Well, I have fun with that. I, I I won't be joining you with that. Um, yeah. You you people just don't interest me. <laughs> you I wonder me? why. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I, I I'm the target consumer for the show. This is why I'm here. <laughs> Bullshit. I know. <laughs> Bullshit, <right? laughs> All right. So uh, yeah, bye, everyone. See y'all. See y'all next month. And right, let's do this. <laughs> yep. Let's see how much rage I can pull from my internal being. <laughs> okay, there you go. Right. So have you started the recording? Yep. All right. Hello, everyone. This is the bonus video. Yep. Tell me when you press. Yep. Tell me when you press you play. Might, you might. You might. You might want to cover your ears, people. <laughs> yeah. Tell me when you press play on it. So. I've. 
press to play now. What? 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 Who the fuck is this redhead? What? They look like the Metal Fusion top, so I'm not amused. <laughs> what? Bay Wells! Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. What a repetitive guitar track. My... Holy crap! What the fuck, Pegasus? <laughs> oh, my God. Ugh. <sighs> Just no. 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 Well, Told Gato, that, that, that's my childhood wound. Um, yep. Told you it oh. sold out. Yep. Definitely. That That is just the pinnacle of selling out right there. I mean, what the fuck was that? Really? <laughs> really? Fucking really? <laughs> 